I've been using the DJI mic daily for about three months now for all types of content and it's quickly become my go-to mic. Now, does that mean it's perfect? Definitely not. So in this video, I'm gonna go over 10 things I like about the DJI mic and two that they need to improve upon. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Number one is the sound. It's high fidelity sound and it sounds good. It sounds rich, clear, crisp, Deep. You're listening to it right now, unedited throughout the entire video. Number two is the all-in-one charging system. This thing is legit. This is well-built, looks great, matte black finish, stores both receivers, the transmitter, the adapters for iOS and Android. It doesn't get better than that. Everything charges as soon as you put it in. This thing is awesome. Number three is the range of the DJI mic. You can go up to 820 feet. I made a video on the range test and I'll link it up here if you actually wanna check that out, but that is awesome. It gives you a lot of flexibility in the types of content you can create. Number four is how quickly and easily you can switch devices. So let's just say after five and a half hours of usage on this one charge time, let's say this battery goes out, all you need to do, go to your case, grab your other transmitter here, and it's automatically synced. There's nothing you have to do. So you just start recording on it and that's it. Number five is these little puff puffs right here. What makes these pretty unique on the DJI mic is there's a little locking mechanism right on the top, a little plastic locking mechanism right there. And these two just go into place very simply, just rotate and they lock into place. I love that. Number six is the magnetic design. It's really versatile. I have it right now on my shirt. There's a little magnet that I tucked in under my shirt, so it'll stay wherever you put it. But what's pretty clever about this is that you can actually put the magnet on the bottom of the mic so you can just place it on a flat surface so you don't have to worry about it falling over. Number seven, I love how super easy it is to set up and use. You literally open the case and it just works. Everything syncs together and you can start recording. It's that simple. Number eight, this is for all you lavalier microphone lovers out there. If you don't wanna have your microphone sticking out on your chest like I have mine right now, you can set up a lavalier microphone. All you have to do is plug it into the top and then you just thread this under your shirt and you're good to go. Number nine is the versatility of the DJI mic. So it works with iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, and all types of cameras. So that way, if you are upgrading your devices, you know that this wireless mic system is gonna work with those devices. So that gives you a little bit of peace of mind. Number 10 is the price. It retails for about $329, but when you consider that compared to buying multiple different types of microphones for all different types of content, that can get into well into the thousands of dollars. So when you think about one mic system for $329 that covers just about all types of content and sounds excellent, that is really a no brainer. If you're interested, I have the link down below so you can check that out. All right, the two things that the DJI mic needs to improve upon. Number one is the cold shoe mount. It's a plastic piece and it feels really flimsy. I don't know why they did that because the rest of the mic system is really well built. It feels like you could actually drop it and it won't break. But that cold shoe mount is just a piece of plastic. I think they really should have made that a sturdy metal piece where you can just press it in and not have to worry about it. So for you guys out there that take that transmitter and put it on the top of your cold shoe mount, just be careful with it. Number two is the adapters for iOS and Android. You'll see these little bumps here on the bottom. All of those little bumps have to align perfectly on the bottom of the transmitter. And pressing this little doohickey in the place is really hard. As you can see, it's really small. So you gotta have some little, little finger gymnastics to get in there and press that doohickey right into the right spot. So I'm not quite sure what they could have done differently, but they need to look at that and improve that situation for sure. That's it, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please consider smashing that subscribe button, maybe drop a like, or if you have any comments, please leave them down below in the comments section. Thank you for hanging out with me. As always, I truly appreciate your support. I hope to see you in the next one. I'm out.